So David, um, Bill, this is all really great and I love using AngularJS, but I'm always being told JavaScript and SEO, bad news. I mean, is there any light around the corner for this? Well, JavaScript traditionally is given SEOs the heebie-jeebies. As soon as a developer puts jQuery on a page, traditionally you'd have gone, oh no, please don't do that to me. I've now got to think about indexing and crawling and how's Google going to cope? Um, but luckily, um, those days appear to be rapidly moving behind us. There was a time when um, you'd have to worry about headless browsers and making static versions of pages and this horrible thing called the escape fragment. Um, but since, since May, uh, Google announced that, and I think other search engines will also follow suit quite rapidly, announced that they can crawl and execute JavaScript so they can... Brilliant. Yeah, excellent. Sounds good. So I can uh, run away with JavaScript and uh, leave uh, my server-side coding behind. Well, no, it's still not entirely plain sailing. Um, there are a few things that you need to watch out for, um, and there are solutions for using things like AngularJS in particular. Um, one of which is a thing called uh, manipulating the history state, um, and uh, particularly push state, mm -hmm. uh, okay. pop state. Definitely going to have to look into that more then. Um, and what what that does is, if you imagine you have a a web page with content being generated dynamically, you can allow the user to see that dynamically generated page and keep the URL in the browser updated so that you make sure that what you're looking at on a page is reflected with the URL at the top of the browser. Mm -hmm. um, of course, all those, all those URLs that you're creating have got to actually render the same page if they're ever requested from the server, but it does away with the creating a static version of every dynamic page you create. Mm -hmm.